then he showed us he point at this exactly one tree and just beside just beside that tree we can see that the that the shape of a body there and then suddenly that that thing it oh actually it's oh is there anyone here what did you find you are listening to supernatural confessions i am a freelancer and i have my uh, own uh, company where i do education uh, services and also uh, for islamic healing lah yeah uh, okay uh, firstly uh, i studied uh, this uh, islamic healing from indonesia basically uh, i was in a uh, in there in a boarding school for 7 years where i learned uh, islamic healing for around 3 years over there then after that when i went back to singapore uh, i help uh, people around around me i started with my family members first then to my friends and also to my cousins uh, then uh, it spread all the way until now all right so uh, in uh, islamic perspective we have to believe that genes they they really exist right because god created human and also jinn so all those uh, pontiana or you you ever heard about pochong or whatever right so do they really exist are they part of jinn yes they are actually jinns that they uh, they do know all those black magic recitation when they recite they will change their form from one thing to all those pontiana all those uh, pochong or whatever all those kind of things so it they they do really exist but if you ask me like how many pontianaks are there that there's actually a lot of genes but they themselves change their form into those pontianaks that's why in 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 our malay or maybe uh, singapore malaysia brunei indonesia they will only have pontianak but if you go to all those western country you won't see any pontianak you only will see like annabelle <laughs> yeah so, so you know something like that or other like dracula or whatever right but for in singapore we do you don't see any dracula or whatever so it's also depends on the mindset so normally jin they will change the form to the things that you yourself are scared to yeah so if you are a person that scared with pontiana then it will change to the thing that you are scared pontiana so if pochong then pochong uh, so it can be like that so that time was around 2000 2009 if i'm not wrong 2009 or 2010 uh, i was working in one of this mosque in uh, pasiris so uh, that time was ramadan so I work shift. Then uh, one of my friends uh, uh, asked me, yeah, hey, you want to go swarm or not? So I said, okay, can lah, go swarm. I also don't know where is swarm. I don't know uh, how scary it is. So I just, okay, yeah. so three of us. So we went uh, into uh, the, the swarm entrance there. When we, we enter, then in the middle, because we only bring one torchlight, I was at the back. Uh, so the person that bring torchlight is in the front. So three of us, when we went in, then suddenly one of my friend that is holding the torchlight, he actually stopped. Then he showed us, he pointed at this exactly one tree, and just beside, just beside that tree, we can see that the that the shape of a body there. And then suddenly that that thing it oh actually it's, oh, it, 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 it turns to us so it's a old lady wearing white shirt or white dress so it's like okay okay we need we need, we need to u-turn ready you need to u-turn so when you turn actually i'm the last person at the back actually when you turn i have to be in the first then never mind lah we just walk out so when we walk out uh, we walk towards uh Where's the nearest shopping mall there? Uh, is uh, no no the E Hub or oh, um, the resort, the downtown east. Downtown east, yes. Yeah. So we are walking there. Then then it was around two to three a.m. in the morning, and this person, one of my friend that that holds the torchlight, he actually don't have any money. 
to go back. So he he thought of staying with with me in the mosque. And then uh, suddenly he said that he want to go back. While that that his face was so pale and also scared. He said he want to go back. He want to go back. There was said then one of me and one of my friends said, "You want to go back where? You don't have any money. You want to take taxi also. You know how much here go Woodlands." Because he's living in Woodlands. Then he said, I want to go back. Okay, okay, you tell us where you want to go back now. You tell me. It's two, almost 3 a.m. in the morning already. Then he said, I want to go back there. And he's pointing at that place inside the swamp. Then we were like, oh my, something is not right here. So while we're walking, he said, no, 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 come, come, come. Have a drink, have a drink. Then after he drink finished ready, then he was okay a bit. After that, when we want to reach the, near the downtown east, then he said he want to go back again. Then I said, no lah, you crazy lah, don't, don't go back again. Then after that, he start crying. He start crying and then after that, I just pull him one side. Then I start to recite. I start to recite. So that's when I also uh, tried in Singapore doing the Islamic healing. Uh, I try to recite things. Then I asked one of my friends to go because that time I think got 7 Eleven uh, downtown east, the ground floor. So I asked him to just go buy uh, any mineral water. So I would just recite. So after that, when he came back, I recite. Then after that, I asked him to drink. Then he was okay. But the thing is, uh, when we went back to the mosque, then the, the following day, he went to work. That night, he went back to his. Uh, house in Woodlands. So when he went back, he's, he's, he was staying with his grandfather. So his grandfather opened the door and uh, said, okay, come, come in. But when my friend came in, the grandfather asked, your friend coming in or not? But he was alone. Your friend coming in or not? Then he was like, no, 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 I, I, I'm alone. I'm not with anyone. Then the grandfather closed the door. Tomorrow, then the next morning, the grandfather had a high fever. So when uh, my friend asked the grandfather, what did you see last night? He just said that he saw an old lady near the rubbish area there. Because his, his, his house was near the rubbish area. So he said he saw that old lady. Then... My friend, he, he, he was shocked lah. So then he told us that story. And there you go. It was... Ah, I see. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yeah. What did you find? You are listening to Supernatural Confessions. <laughs>